Okay, this is another simple tutorial um, to try and uh, advance your modelling skills. Uh, it's slightly more advanced than the other ones, but um, still not too difficult. I'm trying to keep them short as well, so I'll try and keep it within four minutes so it's nice and quick and you don't have to listen to me going on. Uh, right, so let's say I've got my head here from the last tutorial. It's not very good, uh, but let's try and make this better. Uh, one tool that people use a lot of is the subdivision surfaces, it's called. It, um, it just adds detail without getting too complex because I could add um, loads of uh, lines here and loads of lines here and then I can start going in and maybe modifying these vertices and faces but that's going to get really tricky so I'll undo that and there's a better way of doing it you go up here to the spanner and you um, I'm already on it I've got my mirror set up uh, that's why it's reflected across here uh, and you add another modifier by clicking on add modifier and there oh, if I go across, there's the subdivision surfaces there. Okay, and I've got it set on uh, views one. Okay, so it's been subdivided once. So you can see all these uh, divisions here. So it's split all these up uh, one time. And it's going to render uh, twice. Uh, why there's a difference, uh, view and render, uh, in your viewport, you want to have it slightly more simple and render a bit more complex. You want it simpler in your viewport so it renders. I'm sorry, so it um, doesn't lag when you move around and things. I could probably afford to put that up to two, is um, my processor can do that, but I am trying to screen record at the same time. You'll, you should be able to go up to four or so without a problem, but anything above that is um, probably a bit too much. So let's uh, start uh, moving these things around and seeing what's happening. So the first thing I maybe need is a nose, uh, so let's do that. Let's uh, pull this one out. Uh, in fact, maybe what we'll do, we'll cut that there and yeah about there and we'll get a nose uh, pulled out here so if I um, remember control R was to cut sorry I forgot to say that and control tab will select my uh, faces so let's extrude this one pull it out and there's some sort of weird looking nose now the problem I have like I was trying to say before is it sometimes creates a face where you don't want one so it's extruded all these faces out so it's got a face in the middle there if I delete that face it will make more sense and now I've got this weird looking character. Let's go back to vertices, so control tab, select my little menu there, and let's pull these vertices around a little bit uh, to make something a bit more interesting. Uh, not quite sure what yet. Um, let's pull these around and see what we get. Um, okay, um, one other, uh, if you look over the, these little tools here, another thing that's quite useful is this little button here and it changes the way, it's not. It's a sort of cage around at the moment but if I do this it will go right on the actual uh, model which I think is a bit easier to model with um, so let's pull that down, let's pull this one down probably need to cut down the middle there so control R and I can cut it down here and that will make my life a little bit easier I reckon, pull that one down and again can you see anything I'm doing on this side will it be affecting the other side as well which is great um, let's um, I'll probably put some spheres in the eyes later on, so let's pull this up, this mouth, it doesn't look very good, does it? Um, pull that up. And can you see this subdivision surfaces does quite well, doesn't it? And for some reason I've got a little gap there. Occasionally you have to tidy up the mirror. Can you see these two points here? Uh, they're apart from each other. That's better, now they're joined, aren't they? I don't quite know why that happened in my early model, but there we go. And they look a bit better now, don't they? They're all joined up. Cool. Okay, so he's got um, he's gonna have a smiley mouth, so that's gonna come down there, and you can start seeing how this model could eventually end up looking passable, but uh, certainly not at the moment uh, with the way I'm really messing this up. I'm trying to get cheekbone there, but that's that's not really happening, is it? Pull those in. There's a cheekbone. Uh, it looks really odd and peculiar at the moment, but very slowly starting to do something a bit more interesting. Remember to use the box select tool, so press A to deselect things and press the box select tool maybe to um, pull things down together. G to grab, so I can grab things like that. Let's press A and then B for box select, grab all those, pull them in. And remember you've got to have this little thing pressed here. If I box select without that pressed then I'm only going to select the things I see. Okay, so uh, let's reselect that. Press A, B, box select those. Uh, grab it and pull it down. Now he's got some sort of chin, and I'm, again I'm pulling these things around, which is really quite frustrating. It looks like I've got another face added in there somewhere, which I don't want. 
Yes, in fact, it's going to be where the neck is. Let's look up here. Yeah, there's two fake. That's why it's going weird. And when you start seeing these sort of splits here, you think, what's going on? It's usually something like that. There's an extra face in there somewhere that you don't want. So let's get rid of that and get rid of that. And now it's going to start making more sense. And there is still a little gap there, but I can pull those together uh, at some point um, in the future. OK, hopefully that makes sense. Subdivision surfaces. So up here where the spanner is, add modifier subdivision surfaces and you can raise the detail by putting the views up. Can you see the detail there? And one last thing that's probably worth mentioning uh, when you're out of edit mode, press the tab out of edit mode it all looks blocky, well just press the smooth shading there and it looks smooth and doesn't that look fantastic? Okay, good luck with that.